Hey guys, in this video we're gonna talk about Kazan. Kazan is the capital and the largest city in the Republic of Tatarstan, Russia. With a population of 1.2 million, it is the sixth most populous city in Russia. Kazan is a city on water. It lies at the confluence of the Volga and Kazanka rivers in the European part of Russia, about 700 kilometers east of Moscow. Lots of sand beaches all over the city where you can go swimming, play volleyball, have a picnic, and that's all within the city limits. In Kazan, you'll never mistake a bus with an electric bus because all buses are red and electric buses are green. There's subway in Kazan too, which was opened in 2005 during the city 1000 year anniversary celebration. Now it only has one line and 11 stations, which are announced in three different languages, Russian, English and Tatar. Fare is just a little less than 50 cent. In Subway, they use tokens that say 1000 years of Kazan. The main industries of the city are mechanical engineering, chemical and petrochemical industries. An innovative economy is represented by the largest IT park in Russia, Innopolis, which is one of the largest of its kind among Eastern European science parks. Kazan feels quite independent in making regional decisions like, for example, you cannot buy alcohol here after 10 p.m., whereas in other parts of Russia it's 11 p.m. It is believed that Kazan is not the easiest market for businesses to enter. For example, car sharing is still not available in the city for some reason. Average monthly salary in 2018 was just $470. In terms of real estate, average price per square meter in the city is $1,200. In the recent years, the city has gone through a lot of renovation. It is not often that you stumble upon rundown houses. At the times of the USSR, Kazan was notorious for its crime. But today, it's one of the top five safest and most comfortable cities of Russia. Although it's only the sixth most populous city in Russia, Kazan has gotten a patent to call itself the third capital of Russia, first and second being Moscow and St. Pete, of course. And Kazan residents are very proud of this title. The city is not very tall. There is no downtown area with skyscrapers. Compared to other cities of Russia, Kazan is well taken care of. The city spends impressive amounts of money to keep the streets clean. The capital of Tatarstan is often called a multinational city. It's a unique place where Islam and Christianity live peacefully side by side. The majority of the population is Tatars, a little over 50%, followed by the Russians. Tatars are not necessarily dark-skinned brunettes. They can be blondes too. Sometimes it's nearly impossible to say if it's a Russian or Tatar guy in front of you. There are two official languages, Russian and Tatar. The latter is mostly used in the countryside, and in the city they speak Russian. Many street signs are in both languages. They say there's a little bit of a discrimination going on and if you don't have Tatar origin, it might be more challenging for you to place a good position in the city or if you don't have influential relatives. They've done a great job constructing new roads in the last five years. Nevertheless, Kazan is one of the cities with the worst traffic in Russia. The image of Kazan is that of an athletic city. There are many stadiums in the city like Central Stadium, Kazan Arena with 45,000 seats where they held the World Cup in 2018 and many others. In 2016, Kazan found itself among 30 cities that got Ultimate Sports Cities awards. Kazan has proven its status as one of the world's sports cities by hosting a successful 27th Summer Universiade in 2013. In fact, the attribution of the Universiade kicked off a whole string of sporting events that are bound to take place in the city. There's a racing ring near the city called Kazan Ring Canyon, which some consider the most spectacular Russian racing track with a length of 3.5 kilometers. Across the course, the elevation changes by some 28 meters. The 
cuisine of Kazan's Tatars is a history book of Eurasia, presented in the form of a menu. Dishes like Echpochmak, Kistabi, and desserts like Chak Chak are very delicious. In 2014, according to TripAdvisor, Kazan became the third fastest growing tourist destination in Europe. More than a million people visit Kazan every year. Tourism became an important part of the city life. There's so much to see and do. There's the famous Kulsharev Mosque. It's a modern mosque built within the Kremlin. It's certainly very eye-catching. Church of all religions, which is more of a museum rather than a church. Raevsky Cathedral, Dole Theater, and the spaceship-like building of the circus. 30 kilometers from the city is a fortress island, Sviarsk, which is a city fortress built in 1551 by troops of Ivan the Terrible. In the center of Kazan, popular places are Kaban Lake and Black Lake, and Water Park Riviera is one of the largest in Russia. The new bridge Millennium is one of the new sites of the city. It's built in the shape of the gigantic letter M, which stands for Millennium. In the very center, you have interesting places like Agricultural Palace, a stunningly beautiful building adjacent to the Kremlin and Kazan Embankment. It houses headquarters of the Ministry of Agriculture of Tatarstan and is just a few feet away from the Kazan Kremlin. Next to it is a number of luxury apartment buildings with prices reaching $2 million. Kazan Kremlin is truly one of a kind. It is the main historic fortress of Tatarstan, situated in the heart of the city. It was built at the behest of Ivan the Terrible on the ruins of the former castle and it was declared a World Heritage Site in the year 2000. One of the nicest things you can do in Kazan, in my opinion, is to take a walk along the Kremlin Embankment, which runs along the riverside away from the wide exterior Kremlin walls. Lots of nice cafes and bars, as well as benches to enjoy the view over the river and back towards the Kremlin. Families seem to love it here, with lots of places to cycle and roller skate, as well as stroll beautifully lit at night. It has a lot of cafes and entertainment for children and lots of places to rest and have a drink with amazing views of the river. It's 1.5 kilometer lawn and very popular with the locals. Kazan feels different from other Russian cities. And what do you guys think of Kazan? Are you planning to visit it one day? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure you share my videos. Thank you.